everyone. So I haven't done a citrus twist video in a very long time. My design team uh, guest design ended, but I still have a lot of their products. And also in this uh, me album that I started, I have a bunch of um, projects that I made with citrus twist. And when I was looking back on this album, I noticed that the two that I have left right here, I wanted to use citrus twist products. It just works out that way. And I don't know if you do this, but I do. When I look at my album, I wanna make sure that I balance it out with the different makers. So I've got Everyday Explorers in here. I've got Kelly Stamps in here. And I've got Tracy Reed in here. And then um, another Tracy Reed. And I've got Citrus Twist, of course, right? So I, ha I like to balance it out and I felt like this album needed some Citrus Twist to balance it out. And also a second or third reason was that one of the kits was craving and one of our shows this past summer was the shadow hunters so i figured you know what that goes perfect so i'm gonna go ahead and do citrus twist for a little workout page and also the summer show that we watched and then that will wrap up this album and then I can do a walkthrough for you guys. Um, it is almost up to where the rings open and I had to stop at July. I was hoping to go through August, but I can only fit May, June, and July in this and then this album will be done and I can do a little walkthrough of it. So I am going to go ahead and get started on these pages and I'm excited that you guys are here and I'm gonna switch over to voiceover now. All right, thanks. Okay, so I pulled out all the purples and blues from my Citrus Twist kit. I did not pay attention to which kit they came from. Like I said in the intro, most of them probably came from Craving, um, which was a kit from a long, long time ago. And I also found an image on Google, and if I can link the person who made it, I will definitely do that. I did leave the person's name on there because I like to remember where it came from and give credit if possible. So I matted the photo on some purple paper and then I also did some blue paper and then I have just a gray paper that I'm going to layer behind and then I'm going to add in a ton of flowers. So I added on a smidge of that gray cross paper and then once I get done with this layout I actually didn't even need to do that. And then my overall design is just gonna be lots of clustering by the top left and the bottom right. So like the two corners of the photo. And I've put down the letters craving and then I'm gonna fussy cut out two labels, one purple and one blue, and then I'm gonna go ahead and stamp um, a few phrases on them. Also have this giant purple flower. I'm not usually drawn to giant florals. They, I guess they just kind of intimidate me, but I am gonna use a piece of it. So on the blue label, I just repeat stamp favorite, and then on the purple one, I repeat stamp my favorite show. And it is definitely my favorite show. I wish there was more seasons. So that purple flower, I am gonna cut it in half, and then I'm gonna tuck it behind the purple, um, purple paper and then I'll add a blue flower on top and then another blue flower down in the bottom right and um, I am going to finally actually put down the craving letters and just um, add my adhesive. I also have some bits and pieces that I'm going to add throughout this project like I have two die cuts that I found um, one was purple and one was blue so I'm going to go ahead and add those. I wanted to tuck in another piece of that purple flower, so I actually had to take off the ING and then um, put down the purple flower and then put back the ING because I just, I really liked adding in another piece of the purple flower and tucking it in right there. So now I'm gonna glue down my labels and then I'm gonna add in some more of the little uh, details. Like I, add, I found some word stickers and I just decided to use a few of those. There was Netflix-ing, yes, and I can't say no. And then I found a chipboard that said love and then I'm gonna add some puffy stickers. Like I said, I used a lot of different pieces to pull this together and just had a lot of fun mixing and matching. Added in the journaling lines and I'm done for now. 
Now I'm gonna do the two workout photos. And then I had this card that kind of inspired my color scheme. And so I'm just gonna cut it down to the size of my photo because I really didn't wanna include any yellow. So I don't need that yellow piece. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make that so good straight. And then I'm going to make my cycling photo, I'm gonna make that kind of tilted. And I'm gonna add in a bunch of labels and I'm gonna, I'm fussy cutting those out right now. So I have orange, green kind of a greenish color and then pink and then I will just build my spread from there like I said again in the introduction this is a very kind of messy busy uh, spread but I really really love how it came out and it was so fun to just kind of go all crazy with the colors and the busyness so in the middle of the left side right there you just saw me stamp caring for my soul and I put that in black ink to make it a little bolder. And then in the green label, I did grow. And then a flower in the <clears throat> orange label, I did just look how she can grow or just look how she can. And then the pink one is sink, seek, flourish, and bloom. So I just did those. And then at the top, I decide to tuck in some flowers. So I'm going to kind of make a flower border. And I really like how that came together. It was so fun. And then that way, the, having those large floral die cuts will also add to the, um, the same thing as the left side. And as you can see, I just had a kid drop something off on my desk. Um, I have everything set where I think I want it, and now I'm going to begin the process of adhering it down. If you guys have seen me work on my projects when I'm doing something a little different, okay, most of the time, I guess, I wait to adhere everything down before I know I really want it to stick there. So that is what I'm doing now, and I put down the pink flower, then the blue flower, then the pink label, then the yellow flower, and then the blue. And now I have a really awesome floral border up there. Decided to tuck two more flowers down at the bottom right where my selfie is and then they'll stick out a little but that's okay. Also going to make another tiny little piece of a yellow flower and stick it on the green uh, label and then I decide to get out some black ink and go ahead and stamp some more of the flower. I want to say it's a lotus flower but it matches the same flower on the grow label except I'm doing it in black and I really love those pops of black. They were the perfect finishing touch that I needed. And then my final touch is going to be just adding in some puffy stickers and then I will be finished with these spreads. So there you go. Two spreads done. Now I can show you guys the walkthrough and I hope you guys loved seeing this fun colorful project come together. I would love a thumbs up or a subscribe if you are new to my channel. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye!